Hello and welcome to the memory lane. Today we will look back at the 1955 American television show The Honeymooners. We will revisit the cast of the series and see how they changed over the years. I will also tell you some interesting or funny trivial facts you probably did not know. So let's not waste any time and jump right into it. Jackie Gleason died of colon and liver cancer in 1987 at the age of 71. Art Carney died of undisclosed causes in 2003 at the age of 85. Throughout her life, Audrey Meadows was the only cast member to receive residual payments. Her shrewd manager predicted the possibility of a rerun even in the early stages of television, before precedents were established. A clause in her contract stipulated that she would be paid royalties if the show aired in subsequent time slots in the future. That's an interesting bit of history, because now it's a standard requirement for all television work that the involved parties get paid for each show they appear in as well as directors, actors, actresses, writers, and voice actors, it also applies to others in different capacities. Audrey Meadows died of lung cancer in 1996 at the age of 74. Joyce Randolph as Trixie Norton The Flintstones' four main characters were inspired by these four main characters. A life-sized statue of Jackie Gleason dressed as Ralph Cramden stands outside the Port Authority bus terminal in New York City since 2000. George Petrie died of lymphoma in 1997 at the age of 85. Fans sent Audrey Meadows hundreds of household items for Alice, including curtains, pot holders, and irons. A fan sent her 10 cents to buy a curtain rod, since it was too hard to mail one. As a result of purported health problems, Pert Kelton, the original Alice, left the Jackie Gleason show while the sketch was still airing, she was later blacklisted. Audrey Meadows was asked for suggestions on who could replace Kelton. The actress finally suggested herself after sifting through a list of candidates who, for one reason or another, weren't suitable. The young and pretty girl was initially rejected by Jackie Gleason for being too young. The next morning, Meadows had a photographer come to her house at 7 o'clock and take pictures of herself without makeup, wearing a torn blouse, skirt, and apron, and with her hair pinned up with combs she'd slept on. After seeing the pictures, Gleason exclaimed, that's Alice. He then asked who it was. His response when told she was the same actress he had rejected the day before was, any dame with that sense of humor deserves the job. Hire her. A live show was filmed in front of an audience, edited, and shown later. A sign that Jackie Gleason had forgotten his line was when he patted himself on the stomach. <laughs> 